Leaky gut is a syndrome where there is increased permeability of the intestines, leading to gaps in the tight junctions of the gut. One of the major reasons behind leaky gut is food intolerance and allergy causing inflammation in the gut. And in this video, we will cover foods which you want you to avoid with a leaky gut. If this is of interest to you, we recommend you to stick around till the end of the video. Foods to avoid with a leaky gut, coming up. This video is brought to you by Good Health Corner. At Good Health Corner, we bring research health information in a simplified manner that is easy to understand. If you like what you see here, we request you to support us by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell icon. This will ensure you get notified every time we release a new video. Disclaimer: The health statements made in this video and the site are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease. They are solely for information purposes. Always consult a doctor before implementing any treatment protocol. Now coming back to the topic, what is leaky gut? The intestine or the gut is made of epithelial cells tightly bound to each other. And to protect this lining from the gut, there is a mucosal layer on top of it. This mucosal layer, in addition to providing protection to the gut from the particles inside the intestine, also provides a first line of defense from pathogens to the secretory immunoglobins. Due to various stressors, this mucosal layer over a period of time can deplete, resulting in not able to provide enough protection to the gut lining. The stresses further weaken the tight junction of the gut resulting in gaps through which food and other particles can leak out. The food and the other particles which leak out from the gut are perceived by the immune system as threats and as a result the body tries to defend itself from them. And this leads to an inflammatory reaction and with chronic leaky gut syndrome you have chronic inflammation. This chronic inflammation can lead to various other medical conditions and have a cascading effect on overall immune health. Now let's understand what foods to avoid with leaky gut. Any food which is known to cause inflammation or are known to cause an autoimmune reaction is best to be avoided in a leaky gut scenario. In addition to this, there are certain categories of foods that are known to cause bloating, pain and discomfort which are also to be avoided. Let's try to understand these. Number 1. Gluten The first category of foods to avoid in a leaky gut condition is gluten. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, rye etc. and is known to cause inflammation. Alpha-gliadin is a signature protein of gluten, which is linked to celiac and other intestinal disorders. The human gut cannot break down gluten completely, and it leaves the possibility of inflammatory reaction in the gut, including autoimmune conditions. Number 2. Milk Mother's milk is great for infants, but as we grow up, milk might not be as beneficial as what we think. Firstly, casein is a protein that is found in milk. And casein found in cows or goat's milk is bigger in size than human milk and is not easily digested by the human body. Secondly, lactose is a kind of sugar found in milk which is also a stressor of the human system. Most people are intolerant to this as the human body is generally deficient in the enzyme called lactase required for breaking down lactose. Third, the milk found in the supermarkets are pasteurized. Now pasteurization is a process that is used to kill the harmful bacteria from milk and increasing its shelf life. But the process of pasteurization includes heating the milk and then cooling it very quickly and this process destroys any good properties including the enzymes in the milk, increases oxidized fat and alters the quality of the proteins in the milk. Thus milk might not be the best for you and has the potential to cause inflammation and add fuel to the fire in a leaky gut scenario. Number 3. Sugar Sugar is a highly inflammatory food. The sugar in the blood is utilized by the cells to produce energy. The pancreas secretes a hormone called insulin, which is responsible to escort the blood sugar to the cells to be utilized to create energy. With additional sugar intake, our pancreas need to create excess insulin to escort the sugar to the cells. Now with prolonged ingestion of sugar, the cells become resistant to insulin and as a result the glucose remains in the blood causing insulin resistant diabetes. Leaky gut syndromes can also have dysbiotic gut and yeast infection. Some microbes live as a part of the commensal flora but in a case of compromised immunity can become opportunistic and may cause deep-rooted infections. Candida albicans is such a yeast strain and they feed on sugar. In addition to candida, sugar can also feed the other opportunistic and harmful microbes and helping them to create an imbalance of gut flora resulting in inflammation and disease. Number 4. Soy Soy has earned a bad name in recent times as most of the soy produced is genetically modified or GMO. Soy is also on the list of the foods which are best to avoid in case of leaky gut syndrome. First, the protein in soy is similar in structure to gluten and can create a similar inflammatory reaction just like gluten. 
Most food factories packing soy products also handle gluten, so there is a high likelihood of contamination of soy products by gluten. Secondly, most of the soy products are GMO in nature. With the advancement of biotechnology, scientists are now able to introduce a gene in soy products which makes it easier to grow these crops. These crops are not natural and have the potential to alter the gut microbiome and are thus not recommended in a leaky gut scenario. Lastly, soy products are high in oxalates. Oxalate-rich foods can cause kidney stone and extreme gut pain for individuals with leaky gut. These are best to be avoided. Number 5. Alcohol Alcohol is one of the prime contributors to the leaky gut syndrome. It is seen that alcohol can cause increased permeability of the gut leading to a leaky gut. Alcohol suppresses the production of prostaglandins. These are a group of lipids that are responsible for reducing inflammation and helping to repair tissue damage. The suppression of this hormone leaves inflammation uncontrolled, leading to widespread damage to the gut. Alcohol also helps the bad bugs in the gut to populate and produce more toxins. It helps in candida overgrowth. Alcohol metabolite acetaldehyde is classified as a group 1 cancer causing agent. Consumption of alcohol is a risk factor for bowel cancer and many other health conditions. Imbalanced gut flora with overgrowth of pathogenic microbes causing loosening of the tight junctions. In this way, alcohol provides all the necessary support to create a very hostile gut environment. High Oxalate Foods Oxalates are natural compounds found in plants and vegetables. These are considered as the defense mechanism of these plants from herbivores. When oxalates are ingested with food, it is supposed to go unharmed in the body, broken down by the bacteria in the gut and excreted with the stool and urine. In case of a leaky gut syndrome, the oxalate degrading bacteria called oxalobacter formanganese might not be present in sufficient concentration, leaving these oxalates to be absorbed in the gut tissues. Oxalates are linked to kidney stones and other health conditions such as tissue destruction, fibromyalgia, neurological issues and other autoimmune conditions. It is best to avoid foods that are high in oxalates. High FODMAP foods FODMAP foods represent a category of foods that are high in fermentable carbohydrates. These fermentable carbohydrates are known to cause bloating, gas and stomach pain. This becomes specifically difficult for individuals who are already having a compromised gut condition like irritable bowel syndrome or leaky gut. These foods, when passing through the colon, ferment and create gas. The fibers draw in water in the colon and together with the gas, it can cause bloating, cramping, diarrhea or constipation. Red meat Red meats are difficult to digest and in a leaky gut condition can cause severe stress in the gut and cause inflammation. Red meat can raise the levels of trimethylamine enoxide or called TMAO, a metabolite that is produced during the digestion of red meat. Higher production of TMAO is associated with inflammatory conditions related to the heart, gut and other chronic conditions. Studies have shown that the gut microbiome from individuals on plant-based diet versus animal protein diets show a correlation of inflammatory markers present in the animal-based diets along with a reduction of the beneficial microbiome. Animals are injected with antibiotics, and antibiotic injected meat may not be good for the microbiome. Junk food Junk foods are burgers, sausages, fries, aerated drinks, donuts, etc. These foods are empty calories, and they do not contain any beneficial properties for the body. On the contrary, they contain harmful substances that are linked to many diseases. Junk foods are generally laden with gluten and sugar. Both of these are extremely harmful to the gut and the body. In addition, they also contain a high amount of saturated fat and trans fat, which are associated with cardiovascular diseases and implicated in other inflammatory conditions including the gut. The absence of any beneficial fiber in these junk foods make them stick to the intestine and cause constipation and bloating. Constipation leads to fermentation of the foods in the intestine and can impact the gut microbiome in a negative way. If you are already having a compromised gut, it is best to replace junk foods with foods that are gut friendly and foods that can help you to reverse your current condition. Junk food will only make it worse. So in conclusion, leaky gut can be worsened if you are not making the right choices in food. Gluten, casein, sugar, soy, alcohol, red meat or foods that are high in FODMAP or high in oxalates can have a damaging impact on the gut health. Knowledge and information are key and help us to take the right step towards recovery. With this information, we are able to avoid the foods which can lead to a leaky gut and help ourselves overcome the condition. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more such videos, we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this. 
a little bit of encouragement from it will go a long way for us. Thank you and we hope to see you again. Bye for now.